imagine this scenario. Your organisation has just announced a change. It could be a small change just affecting you and your team. It could be a large change affecting either an entire department or even the entire organisation. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Is it, oh no, here we go again? Is it, oh, haven't we tried this before and it didn't work? Or is it, oh, that sounds really exciting. This is something I really, really want to embrace. Something I really want to encourage. Or is it something in the middle, you know, that, well, this is going to be a challenge. It could be possible, but it's going to be a challenge. Let's face it. We should acknowledge, first and foremost, that changes of work can stir up all sorts of emotions, right the way from the extreme of excitement to help the other extreme of helplessness and even to the point of wanting to resist and refuse and run away from change. It can cause confusion, it can cause fear, it can cause anxiety. And in fact, I've even heard it linked to grieving. We're mourning the, the loss of something that we used to know very, very well and something that we used to do. And grieving just makes us resist change even more. But you don't want to be the person that pushes back against any new ideas, do you? It's not great for you and it's not great for your career. It's not great for your organization. So one of the things that you have to learn is how to boost your adaptability. It's a key part of emotional intelligence and it's crucial to break in that cycle of negativity. And it is something that you can learn. And in fact, you will get better at this. The more you apply emotional intelligence to embracing change, the better you will become at it and the more adept you will be. I understand you're feeling tired and you're feeling frustrated of all of the changes that organizations want to implement and sometimes it just feels so overwhelming so what i want you to do is i want you to try four tips next time your organization rolls out a big change okay four little tips to help you to embrace that change using your emotional intelligence and we call it emotional intelligence because it's about understanding the it's about being intelligent and understanding your emotions so step number one is identify why it is you're resisting you need to be self-aware are you worried that that change is going to make you look incompetent perhaps are you worried that that change may affect your job and you you might lose your job are you concerned that you might not be able to learn any new skills that you need the first thing that you need to do to combat that is ask to be involved in the process. Now, if you are being led through any change by somebody who is skilled in organizational change management, I can tell you now that they're going to ask you to be involved. Don't shy away from it. It's something that we do in OCM to ensure that we do have not just everybody's commitment, but we actually have their enthusiasm as well, and that we can address any key challenges that they may face. So ask to be involved. If no one's asking you, then you ask. Even if you're not thrilled about the thought of being involved and if you're not thrilled about the thought of the change, you need to be part of it because this will help you. You can have influence over that change if you're involved. The second point here is to question your emotional response. You know, our reactions often come from the stories that we tell ourselves. It's what we imagine may happen. So ask yourself, what am I feeling about this change? Is it fear? Is it anger? Is it frustration? Is it, you know, enthusiasm, but just tinged with a little bit of concern? Once you know what the emotion is you're feeling, then you can look at why you're feeling that. What is it that's causing this feeling? Is it that you don't trust leadership? Is it that we've tried this before and it didn't work, but people lost their jobs? Or is it that I really can't learn because I haven't told anybody that I have an issue with learning something new? You know, recognizing this, whether it be anger, whether it be fear, whether it be concern over job security, recognizing this and then looking at why you feel that way that will allow you to then speak to the change manager and speak to those concerned. If you're involved in the change, then you can have influence and you can raise that concern. Thirdly, don't run away from change. Own your part in the change. 
do not think oh it's okay everybody else is going to do this so i don't need to be involved own your part take accountability for not just being involved but for being positive about the change when you're in a neg negative situation you really want to reflect on your role in that negative situation and think about how your attitude and how your behaviors are contributing to your experience of the change if you go into something with a negative attitude if you go into something feeling that something is going to go wrong then it will yeah you've heard that saying if it's going to go wrong it's going to well if you think that it's going to go wrong then it will so it's important to have a positive attitude but in order to have a positive attitude again we have to go back to steps one and two and find out why we don't have a positive attitude what is it that's stopping us if you notice yourself getting tense every time a new change is announced then practice something called mindfulness and research that a little, little bit more detail just to explore your feelings and understand that one negative reaction can really start a chain of events that can only make things worse so try and adjust your attitude try and be a little bit more positive to embrace that change make yourself open to more new perspectives and you realize that they're not so bad after all and that brings me on to that fourth point and that is your outlook adopt a positive outlook to the change open yourself up to the new possibilities and ask yourself questions like what opportunities does this change bring how can these opportunities help me and perhaps how can they help others as well what you need to do is you need to not only be positive yourself but be seen to be positive within the organization as well because that will help others who are feeling slightly negative too your positivity can have a positive impact in the same way as your negativity can also have a negative impact so try looking inward when it comes to change try and understand why you feel that way and if all else fails speak to the change manager because i will guarantee that they will be in a great position not only to be able to help you navigate through that emotional intelligence but also they'll be able to help you understand the positive impacts of those changes because trust me that's something that they have had to talk to leadership about at great length being able to adapt quickly and effectively to change is really a competitive edge for you so next time you're feeling a little bit of resistance then use these four steps as i've mentioned to build up that momentum and energy for yourself and don't just embrace change but drive it forward with a positive outlook